all right boys the black ops 6 beta is here and it's time to play it and give my opinion on it since everyone is dying everyone's been begging oh vexel what does he think of black ops 6 ah oh, i need to hear it oh he's just so handsome and talented and, and so good at call of duty i need to see him play i saw all the comments so let's just get into it yo the main menu music does go incredibly hard though This is essential for a banger cod, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's just try out the Jackal PDW. Oh, I just got styled on, I don't, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I got a UAV though. This Jackal PDW definitely feels good. I want to I want to get my creative class unlocked ASAP though. There we go, level 3. Look at this guy trying to directional move on me. Come on, dude. Oh, I didn't even know I had an AR as a secondary on this class. Oh, this scope is kind of crazy and I'm dead. Yeah, the XM4, that's from uh, Cold War. We got that as our secondary. All right, we lost our first game. I went 17 and 12, though. Can't complain. Oh, okay, we've got best play instead of kill cam. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, uh, this is like, uh, what game was this? Was it Black Ops 3 or 4? By the end of this game, we're going to have people fucking hitting whatever dance move, TikTok moves at the end. Oh, that's going to be terrible. <laughs> There we go. We got level four. We can finally make a class. See what's up in that. That was awkward right there. We kind of both slid into each other. I'm trying to omnidirectional movement on people. I don't know. Yeah, I saw someone say, I think it was Tim the Tatman. I think he said that um, the omnidirectional movement feels better for a controller, which I'm not a controller player and I haven't been for like six years now, but I could probably see that being the case. There we go. There's a good omnidirectional kill. I think it's just also going to take some time for everyone to adapt to it. You know what I mean? Because like I'm used to sliding, but I'm used to sliding just like this. Now I've got to also remember and train myself that i could slide like that or i could dolphin dive backwards and things like that it's a cool thing like i don't even think it's a bad thing that's not what i'm trying to say see like now i'm just trying to use it all the time like i don't even know if i think it's like a gimmick because we all know call of duty loves adding very gimmicky things here and there but I can see this being like a, a staple in the in the games. I think I just got to get more than two games to get used to it. 26 and 21, two captures, not too bad. All right, I want to back out and mess around with this create a class. So yeah, we got three perks, wild cards, dedicated melee. Oh, at any time by holding V? Okay. Okay, you know, we got the typical assault rifles, SMG, shotguns, LMGs, marksman rifles, sniper rifles. Marksman rifles, I'd be cool if they got rid of this, to be honest. Like, I think it was Modern Warfare 2019, or was it Black Ops 4 that introduced the marksman rifle class? I'd be cool if they left. But let's build a class around the C9, so create new build. And this is another thing, to be honest, I'm so insanely cool if they just got rid of the gunsmith. Like, do we really need this many fucking optics? I know this is just the beta, but you know by the end of this, we're going to have like 68 fucking muzzles when five of them basically only make differences. It's I'd be so cool if they got rid of all this. Just let's go. I'm cool with five attachments, but like uh, it's just so much. I don't know. Like rear grips. Come on. Do we like sometimes too much is a bad thing. You know what I mean? Do we really need all you know we're gonna have a million rear grip attachments by the end of the game and we're only gonna use like three of them 
one tiny little detail that I will say this game has is, is like you see there's actual teams. It's Black Ops versus Crimson. I think it was Vanguard where the whole game, it was literally just um, like my team versus enemy team. Like that was absolutely terrible. Just like that attempt of a kill was. How do people have all these crazy camos? Why is this guy used in a noob tube? Even the uh, the weapon rank up has a nice little song, which is like, those are the tiny little details that are really important to me. Like back in MW2, if you ranked up, like that, that soundtrack, that little couple second song that played was insane. I don't know how I feel about this map, though, to be honest. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of it. Maybe it's just because this is Team Deathmatch, but, like, I'm not really feeling this map. And I was the final kill. Oh, uh, what, what a disgrace. Oh my god, I got <laughs> I got fucking used as a meat shield, dude. <laughs> That's fucking funny, I can't even lie. I'm not really sure how I feel about the time to kill, or maybe I'm not sure how I feel about the assault rifles in this game. Like, I'm a little iffy. I feel like maybe one bullet... Like, that... I feel like he should be dead right there, no? I feel like maybe... Yeah, because he got me for six hits and 100 damage. I don't know. With an assault rifle? I've heard people say on Twitter that um the SMGs have AR damage and the ARs have SMG damage. Which I'm using an AR here, so maybe that's true. I'm not really sure. Or maybe there's just a really big emphasis on where you have to aim in this game. Like, maybe aiming higher is more important than ever. Who knows? Although, that kill just counted as a long shot, so maybe that's part of my problem. That doesn't feel very long to me. But, yeah, it's definitely feeling like this is going to be an SMG kind of year. Like, oh my god, dude. How many times do I gotta fucking hit someone? That was a hard-fought victory. I was posted up on B the whole time. I've been playing so much CSGO that I'm just, like, very CSGO-minded right now. There's four people on my team, and I don't make it. I carried, though. Don't let them tell you different. Yeah, like 725 versus 375 objective score, and he's above me. I guess there's one last thing, is I gotta try this new kill order game before we end this video here. Okay, so we've got to protect and kill. I probably should have read what this game mode is about. There we go. I killed the HVT. What does that do? I don't know. This feels like team deathmatch just with highlighted people. Oh, shit. I'm the HVT. Oh, now I can see everyone on the map. That's pretty cool. I've got, like, armor, extra health. Okay. Kill his HVT, easy, no problem. Looks like they're all gonna be coming from underground. Yep. Ah, yeah, fucking awesome, dude. Uh, bitch. I know you didn't kill me, but fuck him. See, this is very. I liked Cold War, right? Cold War was a good game, in my opinion. I enjoyed it, but this feels very much like Cold War, which isn't inherently a bad thing. But just think about it this way, right? Where Black Ops 1 felt nothing like Black Ops 2, and correct me if I'm wrong, but they were on the same engine, right? Let's go MW2 to MW3. Those kind of felt similar, but they still felt different enough. Like, COD 4 to MW2 felt very different, obviously, but I'm pretty sure those were different engines. But even with different engines or not, they made, like, very big, like, differences in their game to make them feel different. In these last couple of CODs here, like MW2 to MW3, the one in 2022 to uh, whatever years, they felt like identical games 
You know what I mean? This feels like identical to Cold War. We're in this kind of thing where it just feels like we're playing the same exact game, just with new maps and guns, where I kind of miss how MW2 to MW3, the originals, or the best example is Black Ops 1 to Black Ops 2, felt totally, totally different. I really miss that about Call of Duty. Kind of like with um a good example is like with consoles. Like one of the favorite thing of mine when I used to buy the consoles was Xbox 360 to Xbox One. It was like a whole new thing. Then from Xbox One, to Xbox Series, it's the exact same thing. And I think that kind of removes some of the fun of a new console. I think you could say that with these Call of Duties. I get it. Cold War was what, four or five years ago now? And it was a good game, but like it feels like I'm just playing that again, just with some tweaks. So it's not even a negative thing I'm saying, more so just an observation. I'm sure you guys feel the same. I'm sure I'm not the first person to say that. Scud. All right, let's make our last video. Let's make our last map on this video. Scud, Kill Order. I still don't even know what the hell Kill Order is. Kill Order is a 6v6 respawn mode that pits two teams against each other with their high value target at any time. Well, that doesn't really explain. So it's basically just TDM with a little bit of extra. I guess it's a better version of TDM. HVT eliminations earn bonus score for your team. I think this is probably my favorite map on the beta, to be honest. No, I was going to revive you. I'll avenge you. Oh, I'm the HVT. Let's go, boys. Let's armor up. Got to remember to do that. Easy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? No. I feel like this is going to be, you know how some CODs are aggressive where everyone's rushing and some are very passive where everyone's camping. This feels like it's going to be COD's first passive aggressive game where if you run into someone, everyone's just going to, um, you know, do this game movement thing that Warzone brought in. Million circles, spin, dolphin dive, knock over your drink, you know, and then kill him like... That if that becomes like the meta, I'm gonna kill myself probably. That guy styled on me. All right, I will defend you with my life, sir. Told you, told you I'd defend you. Where are we taking fire from, boss? Got you. I got you, sir. No, behind us, sir. No, president, get down. No, come here, sir. I'll be a better secret service than the people they had around Trump, I promise. No, I will take these bullets for you, sir. No, I say that's I'm d I did my job. That's my job right there. I protected him. I've got to get back over to you, sir. No, sir. No. No. How could they do that to my boy? I must avenge my boy. All right, well, I got one. Yeah, fuck you. Style on that, bitch. Oh, what's up? High value target, yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm the high value target. That's me. I'm the top G. Oh, let's go. I can finally spam. I want to do. Let me do. Why can't I use them? Let me use them. Okay, you got to expand. Oh, oh yeah, I love this. I can't wait to open supply drops and get funny little dances. All right, well that was <laughs> that was the Black Ops Six beta. I'm probably still gonna play this a little bit off camera. I don't know how much though, but um. It's not bad. It's not great. It's, it's just average. I'm not going to be one of those people. Oh, this is terrible. I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh, wow. Like, I'm not going to buy into the hype. Wow, this is this is the best. This is going to be the new best Call of Duty ever. You know what I mean? I'm not going to do any of that. It's it's average. You know, it's nothing that's going to be in a top five COD of all time from my thoughts, but it's also not going to be terrible. Th those are my thoughts pretty much. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you've played the beta. What do you think of it? Thank you guys so much for watching. Godspeed, and I'll see you in the next one.